I'm Scott Cannon from the Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition. On my third trip to Dimmick, Pennsylvania, this time to look at gas well flaring, I couldn't help but notice no less than eight tractor trailers carrying blades for wind turbine generators destined for a hilltop in northeastern Pennsylvania. It got me wondering what the future of energy is for our country and if we're making the right choices. After arriving at Julie Sontner's place and helping push cars from Danish radio reporters and a PBS video crew out of a snow-covered driveway, Julie took me to a well flaring. The gas company flares wells after they get done fracking them. And from what I understand, it's to burn off any impurities, to lower the pressure from underneath, and um, to, to dry the gas out. I mean, they just do it for a number of reasons. Or, you know, I think it's a waste, actually. Uh, I think it's a waste of the, you know, the property owners or the, the unit owner owners, because there, there should be many. Um, I think it's a big waste of gas. God knows how much they're wasting. But. How long generally do these flares last? About a week. And it's 24 hours a day? 24 hours a day, seven, you know, it'll be seven days. They usually do it seven days. and Unless they go, I mean, I've heard they go for 14 days. What's it like uh, living by something mm -hmm. like that? The closer you are, the, the noisier it is. Um, it, it's just constant. If this far away, I would say it's what, maybe two miles from here, mm -hmm. if that. It's a constant hum. You can hear it at night. But when you live that close, I don't know if I'd be able to stand it. That That's awful. Like a jet engine just constantly going or freight trains or however you want to, you know, describe it. It's loud. Originally, one night heard flaring, so we went over and we found it. It's approximately three miles from here, a couple miles miles from our school, and uh, we went over and we videotaped flaring. I think there was four, if I'm not mistaken, it was two or four, I can't remember, flares going on. And it, it was pretty close to the road, it was, um, you know, it was something to see. So we videotaped it, and uh, the next night, we were going to meet somebody over there so we can go with them so they can videotape it. There was no flaring. So what we saw was all this smoke and steam and I don't know what coming up out of where the, the gas wells were. And, and the smell was ungodly. I can't even describe it. I, I have no idea what they were doing there. Um, so I told my husband it was making me sick. It was literally making me sick. I said, we need to leave. So we left and uh, the next night we heard the flaring again, so we went back over while well, they stopped doing whatever it was that they were doing and they started flaring again. So I still have no idea why they were doing it, but I have it on video because we'd like to ask somebody what it was that they were doing there that night, you know. I've, I've seen flaring, I've seen the drilling. That, I have no idea what that was. That tanker truck comes every day from from Easton, Pennsylvania, which is about two and a half hours from here. And it's, um, the EPA has co contracted with them to bring us water. Um, I'm one of the four families who gets water from the EPA. And um, they fill my buffalo. 
And um, what's the status right now of, uh, uh, of what's going on with the, the testing? Um, as I understand, tests are trickling in. It's going to take a while. So I, I would expect maybe three weeks to a month before we hear from them. And um, it'll this will just continue with them bringing water until whatever it is that they come up with. You know, if they find something, then obviously they're going to have to come up with a solution. If uh, not, then they'll uh, do away with the water deliveries. So we have no idea. We have no control. I have no idea what's going to happen. Do you believe in clean water, fresh air? safe roads, and the natural beauty of our region? Learn about the unwanted effects of gas drilling. Visit gdacoalition.org.